The Social Democratic Party SDP had a presidential candidate, a former governor of Cross River State, Mr. Donald Duke. His emergence was challenged by one of the aspirants in the race, Professor Jerry Gana. He went to court and had, a, had got a judgment in his favor. But Mr. Donald Duke has since appealed the judgment. The former Minister of Information has applauded the judgment of the Abuja High Court, affirming him as a presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party. Professor Jerry Gana says the verdict of the court is a victory for democracy and party politics as the culture of imposition of candidates by political parties is no longer fashionable. Yesterday, Professor Ghana launched his campaign and he joins me now from our Abuja studio. Thank you so much, Professor Jerry Ghana, for joining us on the program tonight. Uh, when you were at the pri presidential primaries show. and when that happened, uh, you were obviously not happy and the criticism from the other side of the divide in your party is that that was not a demonstration of good sportsmanship essentially shown uh, there is a sense in which that uh, is not uh, a, a correct position uh, it wasn't uh, a question of uh, challenging the processes but uh, the rule of law is part of democracy. Very, very important. If a party uh, together agree on a particular constitution with provisions in the constitution to govern the processes, the people and indeed the legal system expects that we respect the provisions of that constitution. So I went to court on the point of law. Not on the processes uh, that uh, you know, took place at the convention, but that Article 15.3 of our constitution, which was popularly adopted, which was very popular, provided very clearly for zoning and rotation, and that the two key offices of chairman and president cannot be from the same section of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I think this is good because we all agree that at this point in Nigeria's growth, there should be the balance of forces, there should be a balance of development, so that they make, a, uh, make it possible for people to really have a feeling in the governance of their nation. It was a very popular provision. We all agreed on it, but it was violated in the sense that uh, while it was uh, the, the national chairman of our party comes very clearly from the southern part of Nigeria, coming from Ondo State, we did not expect that the presidential candidate, therefore, of our party will come from the southern part of Nigeria. That was very, very clearly known. Indeed, our own party chairman, in explaining our constitution, made it abundantly clear to the nation it, long before uh, the electoral processes that we're expecting that the uh, candidate of the party would emerge either from north central or northwest or northeast. It was a very popular thing. So suddenly, some two or three weeks before the primaries uh, emerged, uh, uh, Governor Donald Duke from Cross River State, and a number of us uh, you know, were surprised that I was uh, coming in to go in for that office. In fact, I knew uh, a candidate earlier on indicated interest. I think he comes from Ogun State. And when he was explained to that this is really the provision, I, 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 I we recognized very clearly, and he spoke very recently, that oh, was that the case, he would wait for the turn. So it is a question of the agreement we reached constitutionally provided. That is why I went to court, and the court ruled and gave a judgment which confirmed that political parties are expected to obey their own rules and regulations in their constitution. It's in fact it's a very clear Supreme Court ruling, and uh, the judge alluded and quoted copiously from such. So it wasn't that I wasn't happy, it was that I wanted due process to be followed, because we are laying foundations for democracy. And the rule of law is part of democracy. Nobody should really, as it were, violate their own constitution to proceed and do things that are not right. Uh, um, well, that seems to be an interesting scenario playing out. Uh, the court has, um, is on your side. The, the law is on your side for now because Mr. Duke is in court. But the absence of the national chairman of your party at your launch yesterday, does that signify that you do not have the support of the party structure behind you. Perhaps you just have only the court behind you. No, that is, that is totally uh, uh, not possible 
because uh, most people who have been very observant about the processes uh, and the emergence of the Social Democratic Party in a very vital way this time know that I played a very key role in reviving and uh, empowering and uh, extending and making very popular the Social Democratic Party. We came in around uh, you know, April, May this year uh, and did an excellent work. I came in as the chairman of the of, uh, 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 a steering committee and uh, made sure that the party that was fairly small became a real uh, nationwide party. And uh, therefore, most people knew that I was a very central figure and at uh, the event yesterday that you alluded to, 90% of the leaders of the party were either there or indicated uh, by text messages that they would have loved to be there except that uh, they were not uh, close by in Abuja. And that uh, the chairman himself, I believe, did never, never said any you know, objection you know, to me as such. It's just that uh, he felt that uh, the candidate has gone for an appeal. I'm not aware of it because there are no processes that have been served on me. And uh, therefore, we are going by the judgment of the court because we, are, we believe in the rule of law, we believe in obeying court orders. So I was doing something that was legal and proper uh, because uh, the processes of appeal, although we've been hearing about it, have not been served to us at all. As it stands right now, going forward, what is your plan? Because the question will be, if Mr. Donald Duke wins the appeal, is he not setting your party backwards? Because a lot of people have su are suggesting that you should have a political solution to the issue. Because the issue of going to court will probably set you back. It's just about 47 days or so to the 2019 presidential election. Well, we, we have no objection at all to a uh, political solution. Uh, and uh, indeed, we pursue this. But uh, it didn't, uh, you know, come to any uh, uh, serious conclusion. And uh, our people from this part of uh, the country, particularly from the North Central, where the party is very, very strong, and in other parts of the North uh, East and the Northwest, they just felt that this was not right. This was not proper. It was certainly something that shouldn't have happened. And uh, I agree entirely if there is a consideration of political solution, really it should be very clear who should be considerate at this point in time. Uh, most Nigerians know that when it was the turn of the South-South uh, South, during the you know, PDP, I was in the PDP then, I was in the forefront. In fact, I was the chairman then of the G20. When people from our, our own part of the country here did not give uh, the former president, President Woodrow Jonathan, a chance to stand, we stood firmly. He said, no, no, it's not right. It's a constitutional thing, and therefore, they should be given the opportunity. I was in the forefront, I mobilized, I argued, I debated, I went everywhere in the forefront. So really, many of our people are extremely sad and angry that uh, this should be happening to me. Uh, they expected that people really, as it were, from our dear friends from the South South, this is the time they should really appeal and plead with our friends from, uh, you know, Donald Duke and so on to say, now look, when it was our turn, our friends were good to us. They supported us. They stood by us. They encouraged us. They mobilized for us. They voted for us. Don't, don't derail their own Pro process. Professor Ghana, and I hope that uh, elders if I'm and people in, uh, that sorry, can if come I in. So a political solution certainly is possible. But, if yeah. I'm a bought in, what would you... And then we are willing you... to accept it. 